I physically hurt my partner and I'm scared it happened. I had to create a throwaway account and I don't know where to post this but I really really need help. My partner and I went out to a rave a few days ago. We both had had a few drinks beforehand. Nothing I haven't been able to handle before and we both drank the same amount. And we were having fun. After a while though, it's like a switch flipped, according to him. I went from having fun to being really paranoid and acting strange. I.e. not having much motor control. Saying the DJ had been playing the same song for too long. He hadn't, and that I was going to go up and talk to him. Kept trying to sit on the floor in a corner of the room. Etc. I remember feeling like the whole world turned evil. Kind of like a bad trip? The music felt triggering. The room felt darker and ominous. Eventually my partner got worried and tried to take me home and called an Uber. While we were waiting for it, I kept saying I was freezing even though I was wearing appropriate winter attire. And there were people outside wearing less than I was. The Uber had to stop a couple of times because I kept having to get out to throw up. Once we were close enough to my home, my partner told the driver we would just walk the rest of the way since it was just a couple of minutes away and I had to throw up again. The second we got outside I felt like I was freezing again and accused him of being embarrassed of me and saying that to the driver. He wasn't and he didn't. He kept trying to get me home and I kept yelling that he was embarrassed by me. I walked in front of an oncoming car and he pulled me back to safety just in time. Once we were at my home I continued ranting about how I would never feel embarrassed by him. I remember my hand pushing his hair back and I also remember holding his jaw. He told me the next day that I had hit him as well and had been telling him I wanted him out of my house. I don't remember this. I remember him crying on the floor. It's hard to breathe as I write this. Apparently I eventually became docile and he helped me get undressed so I could shower. He went to bed and was asleep by the time I came to join him. Neither of us slept well if at all. We have never hurt each other. He is the most precious person to me and I love him the most I don't understand what happened at all and I am so scared because I don't want to ever hurt him again. I don't know what caused it. The whole time all this was happening I thought I was asleep and having a bad dream. A really awful nightmare. And that I was going to wake up soon and he would be asleep next to me. I was looking at him but I couldn't see him. If that makes sense. I can't remember his face throughout all of this. I felt drugged or possessed. I don't know what happened. And I really hope I can get insight especially if someone has experienced this before. Please. I don't want to ever hurt him or put him through this ever again. Sorry. Just editing to add that the drinks we had were at a bar. Not the rave. If that changes anything. Also. I'm used to drinking way more than this. And the worst that happens when I'm drunk is I cry and go to sleep. But other than that I just become happier and more social since I'm pretty anxious, awkward when. Sober. My partner is the only person who has ever been around me when I've had a lot of drinks and he agrees that nothing like this has ever happened before. Edit. I further want to add that I am not the one who ordered any of my own drinks. My partner did and he usually monitors my alcohol intake. Neither of us are alcoholics as we drink maybe twice a month and only in social settings. As I mentioned in the comments. We don't take any drugs and I have gone to therapy for my anxiety so I don't use alcohol to medicate at all. In fact, I don't ever drink when I'm alone. Only when I'm out with my partner and our friends. Where were the drinks you drank served? How much did you consume? You say you feel as if you were drugged. So consider the possibility you were. You went to a rave. You experienced abnormal physiological symptoms. Loss of motor control. Couldn't regulate heat. You experienced uncharacteristic behavior and paranoia that you do not remember. Sounds seuss to me. Since this was a few days ago. 
It may be too late to take a drug test if this was a legal rave. Please call the event organizer and ask if anyone else has reported anything like this. You may not be the only one. Talk to your partner and ask if any of this sounds plausible. But of course, both of you experienced a traumatic event. Give them a little time and patience. Hopefully they'll be empathetic. Going forward, I'd recommend sticking to bottled canned drinks at raves as they are harder to spike. You can also buy Instadrink test kits on Amazon. It was the alcohol. You were cold and one of the symptoms of alcohol intoxication is hypothermia. You also got angry which is another symptom. You were also throwing up. Which is another symptom. On top of that, add the music and the lights. It can make you very uncomfortable. Another issue is this. I'm pretty anxious, awkward when sober. You cannot use alcohol to change how you feel or sort of to medicate yourself. This is another flag in your toxic relationship with alcohol. You had drinks at a bar, not the rave, and drugs take almost immediate effect. It wouldn't make sense that you started acting weird after quite a while. Also, it doesn't sound like you were tripping and usually you don't throw up from those drugs. I think you are looking for excuses like someone gave you drugs or whatever. But the reality is that you need to stop drinking. Unfortunately, you can't go back and make this not happen. At this point, the best things that you can do are 1. Apologize. 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 Avoid anything that suggests that you are not taking responsibility for hurting your partner. Point 2. Let your partner know that you appreciate their taking care of you. 3. Know that you cannot handle this level of inebriation and never approach it again. Alcohol-induced psychosis. Stop drinking. The amount you drank was excessive. You mentioned a few drinks in the body of your message then specified in a reply was five shots and three other mixed drinks. It may be you could handle this before, but now your body is trying to tell you something. With nothing but compassion, I suggest consulting with a psychiatrist about what you just described. Honestly, you sound like someone who doesn't handle being drunk well. It shouldn't be so idolized. Some people really can't believe who they are after several drinks, like you've described here. Hi, I have a personality disorder and this is exactly how I used to behave when drunk until I got on the right meds. Whilst you could have been spiked it's worth speaking to a professional about such an exaggerated change in behavior. Maybe stop drinking so much? Or slow it down? Actions are inexcusable no matter what. I don't have any advice on what to do about you hurting your partner however. The symptoms you describe sound extremely similar to my symptoms when my drink was spiked. Really scary experience. And I'm sorry you went through it. First. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I think based on your account this may have been alcohol-induced psychosis. Though I'm no expert. Please see your GP at the very least. You need a professional opinion. Your relationship with your partner will be hugely impacted by this I think the only way to prove to them that you're safe to be around is to take steps so that this never happens again. Which may mean never drinking ever in the future. Your partner did well to get you home safely despite your actions. Hash this is a medical issue. Op this is primarily a medical issue not a relationship issue. I don't know if you were drugged and had a paradoxical reaction, had delayed concussion, or had a mental health event. But any way we slice it, you should be getting checked out by a doctor. Right now, tell them what happened. Bring your partner if possible as he remembers more than you and they may want to ask him questions. Hi, a person with anxiety here. I have this reaction every single time I drink. 
I have never hit anyone but myself. But I have run away from home. Climbed out my window and broke my AC in the process. Fell into the floor and hit my head many times. Screamed, help, over and over. Prayed. Hit myself for praying because I thought I was going to hell. Accused friends, family members of trying to harm me in ways I won't put on here. Although they were nowhere near me. I could go on and on. Everything feels terrible when I drink. Ominous and dark and as if I have lost control of myself. Because I have and it seems like maybe the same thing has happened to you. What I can say is that once it happens once. It will not go away. You will be so afraid of it every time you drink that it will happen over and over. The more anxious you feel when drinking. The more likely this is to happen again. Please try to seriously limit your drinking unless you are able to get control of this. I am so sorry to hear that anyone else is going through this. I know the feeling and I'm so sorry that you do too. It really sounds like you got drugged. Are you around 1925 years old with any relative who's had a mental illness? People generally don't give random strangers free drugs that don't simply make them unconscious. We can all have a really bad reaction to alcohol. I genuinely don't think you were spiked. Sounds like the fresh air sniper got you. It happens. Unfortunately, you can't control anything at that stage. And the most irrational thoughts and feelings become completely rational in your drunken state. Your other half knows you're not that person and I'm sure he will forgive you. But you royally messed up getting physical with him that is not okay. If he'd done it to you. Everyone here would be telling you to leave him. Not going to say stop drinking but take positive steps to reduce the chance of getting that wasted. Again. Eat and stay hydrated before going out. Slow down on the drinking. Avoid shots and stick to singles. Skip around here and there. We all just want to get to the merry stage not blackout drunk. It sounds like you just had too much to drink. Different types of alcohol sometimes hit people differently. I'm happy and bubbly with most DTINKS 97% of the time. But if I drink gin and tonics I get feisty. Rude. Cause scenes and throw tantrums if I drink shots of Bacardi. I'll need a babysitter BC I get completely incoherent and literally pass out wherever. Just a few months ago I drank a couple bottles of a Malbec that turned me into the spawn of Satan. But I've been fine with all the other Malbecs and wines I've drank since. Everyone's experienced at least one drunken night where we've been ashamed of our behavior. Afterwards, dwelling on the events will do neither of you or relationship any good. All you can do now is sincerely apologize to your partner and move forward with newly found awareness. Take care. What you're describing sounds similar to something that happened to me when my drink was spiked. I had come home after having two drinks throughout the course of a two-hour dinner and although I have no reflection, my BF said I came home and was being mean and throwing things and accusing him of cheating and then had a breakdown in the bathroom. First things first. You should absolutely apologize. Don't make any excuses like, oh I was drunk, I don't remember. Just, I hurt you. And I'm incredibly sorry. Are you on any new, or old, medications? Have you checked to see if those interact badly with alcohol? There are some meds that absolutely should not be mixed with alcohol as it could cause severe side effects, some of which you described in your post. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.